This is The Jilting of Granny Weatherall by Catherine Ann Porter. My first quote is Cornelia and the doctor and Dr. Harry were whispering together. She leaped broad awake thinking they whispered in her ear. She was never like this, never like this. But what can we expect? Yes, eighty years old dot 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 page one oh eight. My first thought or my first reaction was laughter because I could just imagine the granny granny's daughter just saying, She was never like this, never like this. But what I thought after was that it's ironic how the daughter is taking care of of her mother's health but before when she was a child the mother was probably always taking care of her this all this all um, made me realize how fast life goes and is going to pass by but it also made me think about how a mother and daughter share a very uh, strong bond because they care for each other very dearly and that bond will never go away my second quote was, while she was rummaging around, she found death in her mind, and it felt clammy and unfamiliar. She had spent so much time preparing for death, there was no need for bringing it up again. Page 109. It's not hard to, it's not hard to believe that an elder person is, would constantly think about death because they realize that their life is slowly coming to an end because they see the days going by and their health becoming weaker and weaker and it's only natural that she would not want to bring it up again because it's burdensome and thinking about it really only makes life shorter and it's just a waste of time would granny what granny is dis- dissatisfied about is that she does not have enough time and she, she doesn't have enough time to spend with her family and she doesn't like to be surprised it says in the text but specific to this quote um she it shows that she really does not like thinking about things that end as in her husband's death and now her own death what Catherine Porter is saying the author is saying that people need to adjust to life as life goes on and realize that one day they will be treated as they treat their other family members as they grow older That was my presentation on The Jilting of Granny Weatherall by Catherine Ann Porter. Uh, Thank you for listening, and this is Joseph Bay.